Hey guys, I'm Hannah and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. So following from our trip to Cornwall, we then spent six nights in Devon. So we stayed in a converted stables a couple of miles from Clovelly. Um, this converted stables, it slept four, so it had two double bedrooms, a big like kitchen, living, dining space, and a huge bathroom with the most amazing bath, as you'll see here. Really, really lovely place to stay. day in Devon we went to Exmoor Zoo and Conservation Centre. Um, Chris loves the zoo, he loves his animals. I'm a little bit more like eh. with zoos I don't like seeing things caged up but because it was a conservation centre it's always a bit nicer and it was bigger than expected. There wasn't like the huge animals like the giraffes and stuff but there were a lot of like leopards and a lot of the smaller animals, lots of birds, the meerkats and all sorts going on. So enjoyed that, enjoyed having a walk around there. And then we went to a National Trust, Arlington Court. Um, we only popped in for like hour and a half, two hours, but we went around the house, which had lots of boats and shells and stuff like that. Um, but I didn't know whether I could film in there. And then the gardens were really nice. So we had a wander around those. There were some walks and stuff like that going on. We didn't get it to go in the carriage museum because it was shut by that point, but it was still really nice to pop into. On the next day, we went to Clovelly, which was stunning. So it's a little like village going down cobbled streets. There was a um, pottery shop, which was gorgeous. Um, loads of really lovely things there. You could go into loads of the cottages um, and see lots of like the history of the town. Um, really beautiful views, gorgeous little harbour at the bottom with a big pub and then you could walk along to a waterfall. I did wear completely the wrong shoes here. I put some heels on thinking I'd look cute. Um, it was cobbled streets the whole way and then trying to walk over the stones at the end was interesting. Um, but a really, really lovely day out, and it was right on the doorstep of where we were staying. went down to Heartland Quay um, after Clavelli and had a lunch with a view. So we went to Vareca's Retreat, which was a pub for lunch, had fish and chips, which were delicious. Um, had to keep them away from the seagulls, though, I have to say. And then we went for a walk along the cliff tops down to a waterfall. So the next day we went to Woolacum Beach which was just this really, really huge sandy beach. Really lovely for a day of just sunbathing, chilling. We had a picnic. We went and were childish and played in the sea and loved it. It was a really, really hot, sunny day that day. So it was a perfect thing to do. And then after we'd been on the beach for a while, we went and played some crazy golf and got the best ice creams I had had all holiday. We went to North Devon's Aqua Park. Um, we'd looked at it and it, you get it in one hour slots. And thinking one hour wasn't long enough, we got two hours. You probably don't need that. It's a lot more exhausting than you think it's going to be. And we ached 
so much the day afterwards but it was really worth it we had a great great time really really good fun and then after that we went to a little garden center and had some lunch there and a little mooch round and then that evening we went out for tea We went to the Old Smithy Inn for tea, which was really nice. I apologise for in these clips, I keep forgetting to film before I've already taken a bite of my food, so I'm sorry if it doesn't look as appetising as it was, but it was really good. I had a stuffed mushroom for starter, and then we both had um, beef burgers and chips for our mains, and I can't say we had pud because we were rather stuffed. Our last day in Devon we went to Bowcastle which is actually back in Cornwall. Um, it's a really little town but really beautiful selection of shops. Um, so there was lots of art galleries, there's a leather shop which I treated myself to a handbag in and the views are just stunning. So thank you very much for watching my video. If you enjoyed please like and subscribe, it means a lot and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!